How to get fit in 10 minutes a day. Many people want to get fit but don't have time to fit hours at the gym into their busy schedules. What they don't realize is that they can do a full workout in just 10 minutes almost anywhere and without expensive specialty equipment. The key is to focus on high-intensity exercises that push your muscles to their limits. Although it's always better to work out more, an efficient 10-minute daily workout routine can help you lose weight and build muscle. Fitting in exercise anywhere. Understand how 10-minute routines work. It's important to know that this exercise style isn't ideal, but it's better than not exercising at all. While aerobic exercises are important for heart health, they are generally less efficient at burning calories than exercises that focus on building strength. Keep in mind that it's still better for fitness and weight loss to exercise more often. The recommended amount of exercise for cardiovascular health is 30 minutes a day, 5 days a week, too. Be creative. An important aspect of finding a few minutes to exercise is to seize all opportunities that come your way. Exercise the maximum number of muscles at a time. Minimize the number of exercises that work out only one or two muscle groups at a time. For maximum efficiency, focus on techniques that use as much of your body as possible. You can also combine two simple single target exercises and do them simultaneously. For example, never do leg or arm lifts on their own. Combining them into one efficient, fluid motion will let you cut your workout time in half. Go for high intensity exercises. For short workout routines to be effective, they must manage to fit in the same amount of effort as a longer workout in a shorter period of time. The most effective way to do this is through high-intensity interval training where exercise is done in brief, intense bursts. For example, instead of a long strength training session devoted to triceps, do a quick set of close grip diamond push-ups. Diamond push-ups are a quick, high-intensity workout 3, 4, that activate the triceps and pectorals to a much greater degree compared to traditional wide grip push-ups. In addition to burning fat, high-intensity interval training when done consistently can improve cardiovascular fitness. 6. High-intensity interval training has also been shown to reduce blood glucose in people with type 2 diabetes and to improve liver function. 7. Keep any necessary portable equipment with you. When you don't have time to hit the gym, make wherever you are into an exercise center. Be ready to catch those 10 minutes of exercise whenever you can. Keep a lightweight yoga mat in your work bag or car. That way, you will be able to do floor exercises anywhere. Keep a set of hand weights both at home and at the office. If you don't happen to have a set of weights handy, you can turn any heavy object with a handle into an improvised hand weight. Resistance bands are compact enough to fit inside even the smallest purses. Use these tools to train anywhere when you're on the go. Take the stairs. While going about your day, whenever you have the choice between taking the stairs and an elevator or escalator, get in a few minutes of high-intensity exercise by choosing the stairs. Additionally, while not everyone can afford a stair climbing machine at home, most have access to a few flights of stairs. Try incorporating a few minutes of running up and down stairs into your daily planned workout. You can also use stairs as an improvised aerobic step. Use the bottom few stairs to do side step-ups, incline push-ups, and toe taps. 9. Make other lifestyle changes. You are likely not going to get fit with exercise alone, especially with just 10 minutes a day. Make sure all other aspects of your life are conducive to staying in shape. Eat a healthy, balanced diet. Control portion sizes, and, if you're trying to lose weight, make sure you're taking in less calories than you're using up. Eat plenty of all types of vegetables, especially green leafy ones. When eating fruit, go for fresh produce rather than preserved versions which often contain added sugar. At least half of the grains you consume should be whole grains. Get plenty of protein from low-fat dairy and lean meat like chicken and fish. Limit added sugar to 10% or less of your daily caloric intake. 10. Stay hydrated. Contrary to popular belief, there is no set in stone amount of water you should drink each day. This will vary by your activity level, climate, and the presence of certain health conditions. You are generally getting enough water if you rarely feel thirsty and your urine is colorless or a light yellow. If not, drink more water to reach proper hydration levels and try to drink this amount every day. Also, you should drink water before, during, and immediately after exercise. 11. Limit alcohol consumption. If you drink, drink in moderation. To avoid the ill effects of alcohol, men should limit their daily intake to two drinks per day, while women should have only one. 12. Quit smoking. Or, if you don't smoke, don't start. Regular tobacco smoking damages your heart and lungs, making it more difficult to exercise. 13. Don't let travel ruin your routine. For these quick workouts to achieve results, you must commit to doing them every day. However, it's not always practical to pack a set of hand weights in your luggage. 
If you don't go to the gym regularly because you frequently travel for work, keep yourself from getting out of shape by finding a routine you can do on the go. Pack a resistance band in your suitcase so you can exercise even when staying at hotels without fitness centers. Don't forget to relax and recover after exercise. With the short duration of a 10-minute workout you may forget to give your body what it needs. This can lead to sore muscles and discourage you from achieving your fitness goals. Always be sure to take in enough protein when doing these routines. Try to time your workout so that you can relax with a hot shower not long after.